Initiating startup sequence. Execute command. Seek and infiltrate. Must destroy all Joes. Today at the Rabbit's Den, it's Seek, Infiltrate and Destroy with this G.I. Joe Classified Series, Python Patrol, Battle Android Trooper, a.k.a. Bat, Cobra. Welcome back everyone to the Rabbit's Den. I'm your host Marco, a.k.a. Rabbit, and today we're going to do an unboxing review of this Target exclusive G.I. Joe classified Battle Android Trooper, also known as BAT, or if you have a squad, BATS. So what makes this an exclusive to Target? It's because this particular BAT is part of the G.I. Joe Python Patrol. Looking at the box here, you can see the Python Patrol logo, and then there's a black and gray Cobra right on top of it. Now, from what I understand, the Python Patrol are Cobra's elite force, and they are specifically trained for infiltration and stealth. And they wear this camouflage gear, apparently all the same colors, that blocks radar detection from their enemies, aka the Joes. Now, let's get into this review and start off, look at the box. As you can see, surprisingly, Still a window package, even though it's a brand new um, figure that just came out. But, as you can see, window. Brand new art, but it looks like it's similar art to the old original bat. They just changed the colors, and it looks like a different helmet in here. Again, Python Patrol. G.I. Joe Classified Series. B.A.T. Bat. Right on the side... An extension of the art with this one you can see the eye of the bat coming out on the back basic jungle look like it looks like it's the same as the newer GI Joe's that just came out again Python Patrol on the left here legal stuff um, the symbols here constitute the attributes of the bat which I still believe you can go to the Hasbro website and check out what these symbols mean. Bat on the side here, Cobra logo up here, and he is number 41 on the G.I. Joe Classified series. On top, nothing much, Cobra logo, 41. Bottom, more legal stuff, barcode if you need it. So yeah, that's the box for you. So let's take out this guy. Now that we have him out of the box, let's take a closer look. I'm really digging the colors on this bat. I feel like this is more colorful and pops more than the original bat. Now what's cool about this figure is the original Python Patrol only consisted of six repainted Cobra figures. And apparently the bat was not one of them. So this is actually the first time we're seeing a bat under the Python Patrol banner. Which makes sense because who wouldn't want a bat in your elite army? I mean, they're pretty much created by Dr. Mindbender as mindless drones who would just run down anything in their path. And since they are drones, they are pretty much dispensable. They can keep on building, destroying, building, destroying, which instills fear to the G.I. Joes because it would be a nonstop barrage Berserker Barrage! On being attacked by them. I mean, I would be fearful, knowing I can't kill or destroy them immediately and would take a lot of firepower just to take down one. It's like going against, I don't know, like the T-800 from the Terminator. That's just a scary thought facing an army of them. And I can just imagine the bat just taking everything in sight with no remorse. Gunning down everything in sight, which makes them very, very dangerous. Now looking at the figure, we see the Python Patrol colors, which consist primarily of burgundy, grays, black, yellows, and red. 
compared to the original, which was orange, black, and silver, or gray. But the Python Patrol Bat is a straight out repaint of the original. As far as the mold, everything is the same. All down to its accessories. Now taking a closer look at the helmet. It's still primarily painted in black. Main difference is compared to the original is the vents are painted yellow. And then we have this dark red, bloodshot red visor which I can envision would be super frightening if you see it in real life now going down on his chest we see the iconic open chest with the bats electronics seen in there unfortunately I think this one does look like it lacks a lot of paint details we can only see the red painted in here which really, again, really unfortunate. It would have been nice if some of the other parts were painted a different color. And then as far as the clothing, we see a lot of yellow highlights from the accessories, from the shoulder straps, to the belt, to the gun, gun holster, and all the way down to the boots. The shirt, we have this burgundy color and the robotic arms are painted black instead of silver or gray. But again, it's lacking the paint details, which definitely would help if they did that. But I'm pretty sure it would have raised the price. And lastly, down on his pants, we see this dark gray, which really contrasts overall the other colors. Of the Python Patrol. I love the little hints of blacks that break up the yellow on his uniform. Even the back, there's some paint details in here. Again, would have been nice if they painted those electronic parts or looks like hydraulic parts in the back. But yeah, that's a look of the figure. Now, as far as articulation, I think it's pretty standard G.I. Joe classified articulation, starting with the head. It is on a ball joint, so he can pretty much look left, look right, all around. Look up, not so much. It is hindered by the helmet back here. Sorry. As you can see, it's hindered back here. He can look down that far. It looks like the neck is also, not the neck, the bottom of the neck is also in a ball joint. So there's some articulation down here. Arms, you can do the standard T-pose. He does have butterfly joints, which are very, very giving. He can go forward, back, all around. He does have a bicep cut, which is very well hidden, right here. Double jointed elbows, can go really, really far. As far as the wrist, it could rotate and it does have a horizontal or vertical, I should say, hinge on it. Unfortunately, no vertical. If you're holding a gun, you can't really point down. Torso does have a cut here. So ab crunch can go that far and can go really, really back. Hips, I believe it's on a ball joint also. You can 360 rotate it. Some side to side on the hips. He can pretty much do the splits full. It does have the drop down. As you can see, there's a gap. You can just push it up back up. He does have thigh cut that you can twist. Uh, boot cut. And double 
jointed knee, which are super tight considering it's a brand new fig. You can put his legs forward that far and not so much back, hindered by the back part here. Going down on the ankle, no twists, but there is a lot of give on the rock and it can go down that far and point not so much because it's limited by the sculpting up here but yeah a lot of range with this Cobra so you can pretty much pose them in a lot of ways So that's pretty cool. There you go. Now let's look at his accessories. Now as far as accessories, let's start off with this exclusive chest plate, which has the Python Patrol logo on it. Painted in black with this checkered crisscross um, red on it. Looks really good. It goes and just snaps. You can hear that snap right on his chest. Looks very cartoony though, having that logo in the front. Now, that's only that's the only chest piece that was included in it. Um, the original did come, which I have right here, with a battle damage one. So, unfortunately, the Python Patrol did not come with it. But, if you have the original, and you want to use that broken chest piece, you can definitely do so. So, let's take that off. Put back the python one. There you go. Up next, he does have this pistol. Not sure if it's a real pistol or based on a real one, but the handle is painted yellow. And it looks like it has some details in here as far as there's some holes on the barrel itself. And then there's a scope on the bottom, which looks pretty cool. And that goes on his holster right here, like that. Now next, he does have this attachment for his arm, which I'm not sure what it is. It's either a drill or a laser. Laser. So the hands are detachable. Let's see here. Just pops out. You can see. And you can definitely just attach any of the attachment that he comes with like that makes him look even more badass another attachment he has is this flamethrower really lacking and can't see the detail because it's just all painted black Although I, I do see some silver, light silver highlights on it. But yeah, flamethrower. So again, you can either replace the laser that he has Lasers. with this or put it on his other hand. And lastly, another last attachment he has is pretty much the claw. So those are 
the attachment he has. But last accessory, he does have a backpack. Now it is painted black, just like the original. The main difference I see is the hoses right here. It's painted this brownish reddish color. Now the good thing about this backpack is you can, there are portholes in there. You can attach all the attachment that came along with him. And since we have this hand instead of the laser, laser. Just like that. And then he does have a peg on the back, which obviously pegs on his back. Right here. There you go. Your complete bat. Now, before I do any size comparisons, I totally forgot that one more accessory that he did not come with. So just to inform you guys, the original bat did come with an alternate helmet, which is the battle damage one. So unfortunately, the Python Patrol one did not come with this alternate head, which is very, very unfortunate. But again, nothing stopping you from actually using this on him and just doing a little repaint. Maybe try to match the red on the visor and then paint the yellow on the vents. But yeah, sucks that this one was not included on this. So let's get on those size comparisons. Now start off with a few G.I. Joes here. I do have Kamakura and my recently reviewed Outback. So it looks like the bat is a little bit taller than the G.I. Joes, which is okay to me since he is a robot. So that's fine. We have, we have a Star Wars Black Series Paz Vizsla, but this is the John Favreau version. They're about the same size. We have a few McFarlands here, a custom Superboy, definitely taller considering it's McFarlane. A Fortnite McFarlane night hair. Definitely way taller. We have a Mythic Legion Templar Knight. And Mythic Legions normally run taller than Hasbro's. And lastly, a Mezco 112 Craig. And they're about the same size. And that's it for size comparisons. There you have it folks. Our look at the Target exclusive G.I. Joe classified Python Patrol Battle Armor Trooper aka Bat. Whew, that was a handful. Overall, I really really enjoy this figure. The Python Patrol colors really works on this guy. From the grays to the yellows. To the burgundy and the red on the visor. There's just something about this that works. I may consider buying more to army build this guy. Assuming Target or Hasbro restocks them. But tell me what you guys think. Are you guys going to get this guy? Or were you able to pre-order him on Target almost a year ago I believe. And has your order gone through yet? Have you seen them on the stores, your local stores and able to grab a few? Again, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something and I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it did, make sure you hit that like button. Comment any thoughts you have regarding this figure. And click that subscribe button and that bell notification to be notified for any future reviews that I do in this channel. 
Well, in behalf of Mr. Python Patrol, Bats here. This is Rabbit, and I'll see you next time on the Rabbit's Den. Peace.